in today's lecture we discuss about the spectrum of sodium and its doublet structure now firstly we explain what is the spectrum of the sodium for that we are considering a sodium atom that sodium atom has configuration is similar to the hydrogen atom since in that hydrogen there is one electron in their outermost orbit same as sodium therefore that electron is acts as an valence electron and which remains in the its lower energy state that state is called as ground state all other states above 3s1 are excited states that states are 3p 4s 3d 4p 5s 4d in that all s states are singlet while other states like p d f are doublet that doublets are denoted as doublet p doublet d doublet f now how we evaluate the doublet term that we firstly explain here each term is evaluated by using the formula 2s plus 1 this is the super subscript before l which represent the multiplicity of the state l is orbital quantum number and j is total quantum number in that s for single electron system magnitude is half j total quantum number is always sum of l plus or minus s means two values of j is allowed for each l for example if we write l equal to 0 means s yes state s yes is always singlet therefore we write one singlet s yes. for l equal to 1 it is p state p state is doublet how we get the doublet that we just explain here doublet p term means l is 1 l is 1 hence how we find multiplicity is 2 hence we write the doublet l is 1 means p state p we write j is l plus s firstly and then we take l minus s l plus s l is 1 1 plus half 3 by 2 and other state doublet p l minus s l minus s is half therefore every p state d state f states show doublet in that way by using this formula now hence we considering all doublet terms that we term take into consideration for drawing the spectral series of the sodium that diagram we explaining here here this excitation energy we have to taken along that y axis that excitation energy also we call wave number expressed in terms of the electron volt and l for l equal to 0 yes state this is the singlet all are singlet doublet p doublet d doublet f and that spectrum whose configuration if sodium configuration is same as hydrogen therefore we have to compare with hydrogen spectrum that is shown here hydrogen ground state is n equal to 1 n equal to 2 3 4 up to infinity are excited state for sodium ground state is 3s all other states start in the s series p series d series f series all are excited state but except s all are doublets now how we write here see for given n value the lower l value means s p d which always lies deeper according to the sommerfeld model as well as if we compare with the hydrogen spectrum hydrogen energy level diagram then it also shows here all energy levels in sodium always lies deeper below corresponding to hydrogen atom means n equal to 2 n equal to 2 is the lowest energy state for hydrogen below that one lowest state for sodium always lies below just say 3s n equal to 3 n equal to 3 below n equal to 3 all states in sodium 
also lies below that dotted line means n equal to 3 that is 3s 3p 3d these are below n equal to 3 similarly n equal to 4 this is the dotted line for hydrogen below n equal to 4 all states in sodium are also below that level means 4s 4p 4d similarly n equal to 5 n equal to d that is due to the penetrating orbit for lower values of l means s p d now how the actual transition take place that transitions which is allowed spectroscopically that we decide by using the selection rule selection rule is delta n should be taken any integer value any integer means it may be yeah, this one two three four and so on and another rule simultaneously must be applying here delta l related to orbital quantum number that delta l means difference between two orbital quantum numbers must be equal to plus minus one delta n difference between two principal quantum number should take any integer value now see here for delta n we start from n equal to 3 to n equal to 4 if we considering the different series of the spectral lines which arise in that spectrum according to the Redberg's observation now he observed that generally there are four series of the spectral line first one is the sharp series second one is the principal series third one diffuse series fourth one is fundamental series that series which arise due to the transition from the running state to fixed lower state now for that term we also discussed earlier see this one selection rule n equal to 3 to n equal to 4 if the transition takes place in the sharp series this is n equal to 4 and for p state is n equal to 3 difference is 1 5s to 3p difference is 2 6s to 3p difference is 2 since these are the change in principal quantum number it takes any value but delta l should be plus minus 1 means s to p state s to p state s is l is 0 p l is 1 difference is minus 1 that is allowed or if we considering 3p to 3s state that is p is 1 s is 0 this 1 it that selection rule once applied the transition should takes place that transition shows such a transition shows four series of the spectral lines in that first uh, series of the spectral line means sharp series all running states are s yes states and it ends on lower common limit 3p state that results gives sharp series hence n should be equal to or greater than 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on and fixed state is 3p that is the sharp series shown by yellow lines. Principal series in that principal series all running states are from p state p state n p n start from n equal to 3 to up to infinity ending on lower common limit 3s that series is principal series hence n in that case should be taken from 3 4 5 up to so on similarly this is shown by green line similarly for diffuse line shown by blue lines here all running states are from d state n start from n equal to 3 up to infinity ending on common lower limit 3p that series gives diffuse series similarly fundamental series that is shown by here the red lines all running states are f states start from n equal to 4 5 6 and so on and ends on lower limit 3d resulting series becomes a fundamental series now what conclusion we draw from that result see here sharp series and diffuse series has same common limit and that common limit is 3p secondly we say here the first uh, spectral line in the principal series the first member of the line in the principal series is the difference between 
principal that is the difference between the two terms 3p and 3s means this is the limit of the principal series and the lower limit of 3p and 3s that difference gives the wave number difference for first line in the principal series similarly for diffuse series diffuse series the first line in the diffuse series we start from 3d to 3p hence that wave number difference for first line it gives the difference between diffuse series limit 3d and principal series limit 3p all other spectral lines having the same characteristics for other elements now we have to see which is the first uh, line in the principal series and how it show the doublet the first line in the principal series is a sodium d line means sodium d lines are yellow doublets yellow 1 and yellow 2 how to get d1 and d2 line if p is the doublet that p doublet means one of the line term is 3 doublet p half and other is 3 doublet p 3 by 2 how we get that we discussed earlier hence the transition takes place from 3 n equal to 3 doublet p 3 by 2 to 3 s state ground state 3 s half s is singlet and other transition 3 doublet p half to 3 singlet s half that transition the first transition 3 doublet p half to 3 singlet s half it gives the d1 line and 3 doublet p 3 by 2 3 by 2 to 3 singlet s half it gives d2 line hence the first line in the principal series it gives the sodium d line and that sodium d lines two lines are close spaced that two lines are d1 and d2 line that also we have to note from that spectrum now then that series we discussed earlier sharp series running state is nas ending lower limit 3p the resulting series is sharp series similarly principal series running states are np ending on 3s states where n goes from 3 4 5 and so on sharp series n equal to 4 start from n equal to 4 5 6 and so on diffuse series 3p is the lower limit and all running states are nd hence n start from 3 4 5 and so on fundamental series all running states are from f state where n start from n equal to 4, 5, 6 and so on and it ends on 3D. In that way, this each uh, alkali element show such a series of the spectral lines. Once they satisfy the selection rule, the selection rule is delta n should take any integer value and delta L should be plus minus 1. Only that transitions are allowed spectroscopically. Now, then what is that result? That result also we discuss here. 3p state is the common convergence limit for sharp and diffuse series. Second, the wave number of first line in the principal series is the difference between this diffuse series limit, uh, principal series limit and sharp series limit. It is the 3s, 3s and 3p. Wave number of first line in the diffuse series it again it is the difference between 3p and 3d state now what are the silent features of the general alkali spectra that means we have to considering all alkali metals those are in the group first uh, elements first one is all spectral lines are closed doublet except ES state. All are doublet that we discuss here. Hence, the resulting spectrum becomes a fine structure. Second one, the doublet separation increases with atomic number. 
doublet separation means doublet separation between p states the separation between d states separation between f states that goes on increasing as atomic number increases that means as we go from hydrogen lithium number is goes on increasing and z gives number of electrons number of electron 1 lithium number of electron 3 sodium number of electron 11 potassium and so on these are the group first element as atomic number increases doublet separation also goes on increasing that doublet separation is in between p d f states now for given element one of the element we have to selecting here for example sodium the doublet separation decreases with increase in principal quantum number means principal quantum number goes on increasing then what happen doublet separation decreases that we have to show here again for given n principal quantum number we kept constant but the doublet separation decreases with increase in l increase in l means we start from l equal to 0 s l equal to 1 p l equal to 2 d and f means start from s p d f we take that series in a given n doublet separation goes on decreasing now that how the doublet separation increase or decrease due to the effect of n and l that we show here and you know all are uh, yes states are single its explanation we explain in detail in the next article spin orbit interaction how the single yes states becomes a single state then effect of n and l on the doublet separation for that we have to considering the various p states uh, l states l equal to 1 l equal to 2 l equal to 3 that means doublet p doublet d doublet f states for different values of n now what it shows as n increases as n increases for a given element then what happen the separation doublet separation goes on decreasing for each value of l secondly if n is constant if you take n is constant for given n then what happen doublet separation decreases with increase in l l1 2 3 means doublet p doublet d doublet f this is l1 l2 and l3 doublet separation decreases with increase in n now these are the silent features for the alkali spectra that silent features of the alkali spectra we drawn from this one of the spectrum of the sodium that sodium spectrum we have to discuss here except yes state all are doublet and from that doublet states the transitions which are allowed spectroscopically and we get the resulting four spectral lines or spectral series that spectral series which arise when delta n should be take any integer and delta l should be plus or minus 1 and that is the today's discussion under the sodium spectrum and its doublet structure thank you